Hi guys, this is Claudia and today we're in Milan and I'm standing outside Italy's only Starbucks. So this is a very special Starbucks in fact because it is a roastery and I can tell you that just by looking at it from the outside it is stunning. It used to be an historical building here in the city of Milan and this is a very important um, opening for Starbucks because as we all know Italians are very proud of their coffee culture and their local independent cafes. So for such a big chain like Starbucks to land into the Italian coffee culture, that is a very big deal. Want to see what's so special about it? Let's go check it out. The Milan Roastery is one of only five Starbucks reserve roasteries in the world, and it is the only roastery in Europe. It was labeled by the company itself as the most beautiful Starbucks in the world. The Milan Roster is 2,500 square feet and is located in Piazza Cordusio, just minutes away from Milan's main attraction, the Duomo. The Rostery is in the centenary building Palazzo Broggi, which has been Milan's stock exchange and the city's main post office in its history. The Rostery are the top diamond of, uh, of our corporate company. The Rostery, what is different? It's different because we have a, a roasting plant, uh, so we uh, totally roast fresh coffee and we serve fresh coffee right away to our customers. We are so proud to serve our customers. We reserve coffee, so so unique, and uh, we have coffee from everywhere in the world, 100% Arabica coffee that are orig mono-origin, or sometimes we serve also blend of mono-origin. The Milan Roastery also plays a strategic role for Starbucks. The reserved coffee roasted here, in fact, is distributed to all Starbucks locations across Europe, the Middle East and Africa. The theatre of the Scolari Roaster, that is, needless to say, made in Italy, is just one of the things that customers can enjoy while visiting. There is a main bar with seven different coffee extractions, a scooping bar where guests can purchase freshly roasted coffee beans, delicious treats from iconic Milanese bakery Princi, a retail area, and on the mezzanine, the Arriviamo bar is the place for signature cocktails infused with coffee. But don't worry, you can still get a taste of traditional Italian drinks like Aperol and Campari Spritz. If you take a look very well of this roastery, everything is designed and made uh, in Italian country from Italian construction and artisanal uh, from Italy. So everything is respecting the culture of the city, respecting the culture of my country of Italy. All over the roastery are counters carved from marble sourced from Tuscany flooring made by local artisans in the Palladiana style, a technique particular to northern Italy, and references to the city of Milan. The Milan Roastery is also a celebration of the brand's history. The brand itself was born after Starbucks former CEO Howard Schultz fell in love with espresso bars during a trip to Milan in 1983. The opening of the Milan Roastery is the story of Starbucks coming full circle, we said at the opening. At this location, there's not just a few baristas, there's hundreds. And no, you will not find frappuccinos on the menu, but instead, a truly unique selection of drinks to choose from. We have almost 115 different kind of beverage, but what is running the sale, of, by the way, what is represent uh, our tradition in terms of respect is espresso. So Italian people are so curious about espresso and they would like to know how we serve espresso in, uh, in Starbucks. And I can tell you that many Italian people, they fell in love with our espresso. At the same time, our espresso is the way how we can approach to the Italian customer and uh, deliver to them a different kind of experience. I have the opportunity to um, interact with uh, some uh, customer from Milano, really Milanese people that used to come here in Milanese accent, they said, le caffè le bon, 
so this means in English, uh, this cup is so good. So it's so uh, it's, uh, it's joyful for us. At the same time, we are we are so proud to get this respect. So here I am sitting at Starbucks with my espresso, and I can tell you this is the first time for me because as an Italian abroad, rule number one is never order an espresso because normally it's not as good as in Italy. So here we're in Italy, we're in Milan, and. I trust that the coffee is going to be good. I can already see there is a glass of water, which is a good sign, because it's custom in Italy to have a glass of water after, after coffee to get rid of the aftertaste. Let's give it a try. Good, it's very strong. I like it. I can tell you this is good espresso. The manager was right when he said this is the most popular drink. It's simple, but it's very good. The main bar features an affogato station that is exclusive to the Milan Roastery. Here ice cream is handcrafted, made to order, finished with liquid nitrogen and served with a shot of espresso. like summer even if we're in the middle of winter it's different from having you know like coffee ice cream it's nothing like it it's really coffee and ice cream you get both tastes at the same time they blend but you can distinguish between the uh, you know the freshness of the gelato and then the warm sort of texture of the uh, of the coffee on top of it it's incredible so good Have a lot of regular many business people coming here in the morning many uh, family or many uh, teenager or by the way students are coming in here in the roastery people from Milan at the same time we have people from the entire country but we have also a lot of uh, international customers so it's we really talk a lot of language inside this building and Milanese too <laughs> Per me è un punto di riferimento, siccome sono abitato ad andarci all'estero, sono venuto a Milano, ho visto Starbucks, conosco i brand e sono entrato. La considero un po' un'americanata in realtà, però in generale, appunto, questo store già mi piace di più perché è più tranquillo, ti puoi sedere ed è un po' più italianizzato, diciamo la cosa. I'm a coffee lover, I've tried many coffee, but think that the Starbucks is one of the best ones, which I like. The taste, the smell, everything is amazing. Oddio tutto, il meccanismo a vista, tutto l'insieme di tutto, trovi tutto, dal dolce al salato, di tutto di più, stupendo. È il primo in Italia, giusto? Ok, espandiamoci, espandiamoci, arriviamo a Napoli. So we just left Starbucks and I have to tell you, I've never been to a cafe this stunning. The interior itself is worth coming for. But most of all, I really like the uh, liquid nitrogen of Fogato. The blend with um, super cold gelato and coffee, they work really well together. So overall, I think Starbucks has made it. The Milan roaster is beautiful and it's worth checking out.